Hey, what's up gamers? Before we get into this tutorial, I just want to say thank you for the support recently. I've doubled my daily subscribers and we reached my like goal on my last video within 24 hours. That really means a lot to me, so I want to ask before this video starts, can we hit 20 likes on this video? I know it's a bit higher, but I think we can do it. Also, this is a warning ahead of time. I won't be going in nearly as much depth in this tutorial as I have in the last ones. So if you don't know how to pack a puncher to build the brazen bowl, please watch my last two videos, they'll be in the description. Another topic I want to discuss before getting into the video is, you guys may have heard of the controversy in zombies over whether the default zombie mode will be on the leaderboard is casual or normal. In casual you get 200 health rather than 150 and it's quite a bit easier, but people aren't sure if they're going to count their records towards the leaderboards, but for the video's sake I'm going to play on casual just so it's a bit easier to achieve the wonder weapon. Alright, thanks for listening, see you in the video. To start this off, you're going to want to do the same as you would in any other match. Start your challenges and continue to do them until you unlock the Pack Punch Pistol, then enter the Temple of Ra. Upon entering the Temple of Ra, find the Brazen Bull part, kill the champion, and then head across the bridge and kill the next champion. After that, you're going to want to head down the stairs until you hit the outer hallways and head right until you hit the Temple of Zeus. Grab the claw part for the brazen bowl and head upstairs and kill the next champion. Then head across the bridge and kill the final champion and grab the last brazen bowl part. Then head downstairs, go to the right in the ha outer hallway, and by the door that gives you access to the crafting station. Then, build the brazen bowl. After you finish building the brazen bowl, head into the temple and activate Pack-a-Punch. Then, follow where I go on screen and shoot the little flaming barrel off the podium at the end of the hallway. Then you're going to want to go into the little area underneath the stairs and go to the two areas that I show and grab the parts. Once finished with that, head back upstairs into the arena and grab the bowl at the center area. Once done with that, go back to the Temple of Ra and go to the bridge connecting it to the other temple. If you look down, you'll see a giant flaming arrow. It will be pointing to one of four towers. In that tower, there will be a little skull hidden in a certain area. In this part, I'm going to show you where the four spawns can be. For me, the skull spawned to the Temple of Zeus, so I'm going to start there. If you're coming from the lower outer hallways, if you go up and go straight into the little shower area and look in this corner, you'll see the skull hidden very faintly. If it were to spawn in the tower next to it, in the Tower of Danu, if you look down underneath the cauldron in this little corner, it would spawn right there. If it were to spawn in the Tower of Ra, it would be on the bottom floor next to this little cauldron in the corner. And for the last tower, which in my opinion is the most common tower for the skull to spawn in, it will spawn on the bottom floor in the dungeon just right here in this little puddle. After you obtain the skull, you're going to want to head up to the entrance of the Tower of Ra. First, you want to repair the acid trap here by holding down square. Then look down at the drain and hold square. If you have done everything correct and have all the parts, it should place the skull. After you place the skull, you're going to want to activate the trap for 1,500 points and wait for about 10 to 15 seconds. Once you return, on the drain, it should be transformed into a skeleton key. If you go down to the key and hold square, you should be able to pick it up. You'll notice it's in your inventory by holding down the touchpad on the, your controller. 
Now this part, in a lot of people's opinions, is the hardest, but I'm here to tell you guys it's not as hard as it seems. So the last part you need is a golden cup, which you obtain from pleasing the crowd. There's a system for pleasing the crowd. In the bottom left corner of the screen, you may have noticed a little skeleton hand with a green or red outline. If the crowd is pleased, the hand will be pointing upwards. If the crowd is displeased, the hand will be pointing downwards. Simple, right? Well, here's where it gets a little bit more complicated. So you may be wondering, how do I please the crowd? Well, it's simple. The crowd is pleased once you do tasks like killing zombies and completing challenges. The crowd is displeased if you get down or run into the fire. The maximum amount of pleasement you can get is represented by the hand all the way up with sparks coming out of the top. The maximum amount of displeasement is represented by the skeleton hand facing downwards and red smoke coming out of the bottom. When the crowd is very pleased with you, they will start to throw items into the arena, like perks, in order to obtain the golden cup, you must stay in the middle of the arena area and have the maximum placement for one entire round. It's not very hard, but it's much easier to do on the lower rounds. So once you've completed the round and have maintained maximum placement for the entire time, you'll notice something shoot out from the crowd and confetti will come out of it. If you don't notice it in the first place, you may no it may be hard to spot. So listen for the audio cue, a gift from the gods, and look for the golden cup and hold square on it to pick it up. After you have the golden cup, head to the Tower of Odin and go to the basement. On one of the trees, there is a tiny hole in it as you can see on screen. You'll want to knife the hole. This will place the skeleton key inside the hole. Then look down at the ground and hold square. This will place the cup. Basically what this is doing is pouring the acid from the tree into the cup. In order for the cup to fill all the way up, you'll have to finish the round. So head back down there once you complete the round and hold square to pick it back up. So now that you have completed the round and obtained the golden cup, now filled with acid, head to the mystery box. Unless you've used it a ton and it moved places, it should be next to the fallen hero, near the brazen bowl crafting station. You're going to want to go to one of the corners of the mystery box and hold square to poison it. Doing this will guarantee you the wonder weapon from your next purchase, so all you have to do from here is buy the box. The wonder weapon, like most other guns, can be pack-a-punched, which I recommend doing so because it gives it around 3 times as much ammo and makes it a lot stronger. Now before you go and say this thing sucks because it's not killing any zombies, you need to make sure you're using it correctly. The way to use the wonder weapon most efficiently is to hold down R2 until it's fully charged and shoot a zombie while it's in a big herd. The weapon shot uses crowd control so the shot will affect all zombies near it. Pretty overpowered, right? Alright, that's it for this tutorial guys, make sure to like the video if you found it useful, and recommend it to someone else who also may find it useful. Before I send you guys to the outro, I want to relay some information to you guys about my future uploads. I do plan on making an easter egg slash completion zombie strategy guide tutorial, but first I want to practice completing the easter egg, so yes, I do already know how to do it. But before I make that, I want to make some multiplayer live audio gameplays of me and my friends. Videos like hide and seek, or trolling people in public lobbies, or tryharding to get arcades up. I'm still debating on whether or not if I do this to make these ser this video a series. If I do, I probably should come up with a name for this series. So if you guys don't mind, please comment some ideas for the title of the, some of the names for the series. And the most like comments will be put into a poll on my story on Instagram. Okay. That's about it, folks. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace.